Tubas, I give tubas. Old bird here. On a Sunday evening, getting ready to go to the workout. Chipping on a little Borkum Rift. Just finished this pouch of Borkum Rift. Went through the whole pouch. It's been a long time since I went through. Two ounces or a tin or a bag at the back. I finished it up. I usually get something and smoke three or four bows and move to something else and smoke, smoke some and then it's been getting lost in that vine and uh, got to try it and somebody says this is good and getting it with this McClellan deal going down I'm going to start I'm going to start smoking chuching some tobaccos and going all the way through a whole can Smoking my SMS Mershaw, Mershaw Sunday, Mershaw Madness. Getting a lot of nice color on it. Really enjoying the mirror. A lot of tobaccos taste better in this mirror for some reason. This being one of them. I started this bag before Mershaw Madness started. And it was mighty, mighty good. And I got to teaching it in this mirror, and it is. I almost got this little tang. It's sweet. It's got this little tang on the side of my tongue. Really keeps me coming back to it. But it's a rain in here. Yesterday it was so pretty. I had one day off yesterday. I slept till about 2.30. Got up and the whole neighborhood was out. People were out working in the yards, grilling. Some people had their fire pits going. My daughter grilled out for sent Rhonda and I. A nice barbecue chicken plate, corn on the cob, macaroni, baked potato. Mmm. Mmm. Was mighty good. Whoa, yes it was. I had us a great little day off, and then uh, I stayed up till 2, 2 a.m. And I said, boys, I got to get to bed, and all of a sudden it went to 3 a.m. Time jumped up on me. So I slept till 2 o'clock again. <laughs> I got my days and nights mixed up. Yes, I did. Really don't have a lot going on. I just wanted to check in. See how everybody was doing. I think there's still some regular Frog Morton at Tobacco Pipes. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, at least it was yesterday. Uh, uh, any words? After this McClellan thing hit, I've got to thinking. I said, you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to get to know some of these blends, and the ones that I really fall in love with, I'm going to stop piling before, the, uh, before these uh, tobacco blenders go out of business. I'm going to get a jump, jump on them. The ones I love, and then the ones I don't like, I'll know I don't like them, and I ain't got to mess with them. I ain't got to chase them down and whatnot. Because I will admit, I got a late start on the McClellan's. And everybody was talking about the 40th anniversary, and uh, Clayor gave me a, a sample of it, and I bought two tins of Blackwoods and 40th. And two weeks later, or three weeks later, rumors were they were going out of business, and I said I wasn't going to chase them. They were good, but I wasn't going to chase them. But I wound up and bought four more tins of 40th. Couldn't get any Blackwoods, and I got me some Dark Star, which is sort of like it. Then I found... Uh, 
I got a pound and a half of uh, 2010, which is flake. I showed up in the last video. And uh, I'm just not going to chase after tobacco unless I know it. I'm just to start. I like Virginias right now. I'm going to find some good Virginias that I love, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stockpile them. And if they go out, I'll have me enough to last me. I won't have to chase it down. I'm going to beat the rush, because... With the FDA doing like they're doing, if, if things work out in their favor, and I don't think it will, but stranger things have happened. We're going to lose a lot of blends. Quiet nights, we're going to lose a lot of stuff. And uh, we need to be prepared for it. Let's not let it sneak up on us like, like we've been doing. Let's, let's not let it, let it get us where we're not prepared financially or... Sometimes uh, when you when don't have a limit on things or they put a 50 count limit, well, people that can do it, they buy their limit. There's nothing wrong with that. And if they want to sell it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. That's a big debate right now. Oh, Grandkids are coming in. But, uh, in words, I ain't going to let it get me like that next time. Somebody goes down, the blends that I love, I'll already be on top of them. And, uh, if I don't like it, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to let everybody else go after it. And, uh. I wish I'd have found the 40th and the, the uh, McClellan's Virginia's earlier, but I've been a, a pipe smoker, a regular pipe smoker, for about three and a half years now. I've always had a pipe since I was 18 years old. But the old Codger blends, the OTC blends, is all I, I'll ever had. And uh, Never tried, just just fell in love with Virginia. It's really, really good in the past six months. And uh, the McClellan's was a good one. It was a good one. And the Frog Mortons and all that, we all know, that was one of my first, uh, not a kid. Loves was the uh, Frog Morton series. I got me a little put up where I can enjoy it. Time. But I'm going to tell you, it's amazing how good this is. This is 35% Black Cavendish and 65% Virginia. And uh, it's a real good, it's kind of high now. It's $7 for that little pack right there. But that's some good backing. I really enjoyed that pack of the backing. And you can get it in a tub. But I just wanted to check in with everybody. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. It's just about over. Hope your work week's a good one. Let's let this uh, let's let this McClellan's deal be a lesson to all of us. Well, I bought a lot of McClellan's, and they just they took out on us, and uh, that's their business, but. Let's prepare ourselves with tobaccos that we love. Let's let's get them let's get them in them cellars and uh, let's find out what we love. And uh, if you love it, put it up. Buy it when you can buy. It. If you buy a ten, buy an extra one and put it back. Because they got the right just to shut down and shut the doors. And I guess the government's got the right just to take it away from us. So let's let's prepare ourselves from now. On. Let this be a lesson to us all. People that can buy it, is going, they're going to buy it up, and they're going to sell it, and they're going to do what they want to do with it, give it away, whatever. But it's up to us as grown folks to prepare ourselves for doomsday. And a, a doomsday situation is a, a company just shut the door, just shut them down and leave us set. And it's been a bitter pill to swallow, but we'll get over it. A lot of good tobacco out there, but we'll be ready next time. I will. Everybody have a great weekend. I mean, a week. Our weekend's over. I'm headed to the workout. 
I'll be shooting some videos from here this week. Got some lens I want to review. Hope the weather's nice where I can go out and shoot. It's been so bad I haven't been able to do anything. At work I have to go out and shoot. But I'll sneak one in this week. Everybody come back and see old bird. Be kind to one another. Go sub some newbies. Go watch some videos. It's bad outside in most places. Go watch some videos. And everybody keep on choochin'. And I'm Bird and I'm open.